you need to calibrate your light meter for every camera that you have more importantly every lens that you have so what I'm going to do is use my color checker and calibrate my Siconic light meter with for my Fuji X100. So first we need our light set up and everything. I have that above me. Hello. Okay, and we're gonna shoot we're gonna shoot this color checker. So first we need we need a reading. So click it. I don't really need that uh, the bulb out. And let's see what we get. Four nine. A little more juice. Let's go for five six. Five six one. Uh, it's close enough. It's uh, four four point zero and nine tenths of a full stop. Um, let me just see what it's getting. Really? Okay. I think that's fine. Ah, a little bit more. Okay, five, six, move it back a little bit. Five six one. That's as tight as I'm gonna get. So now I need to set my camera. I'll show you the software we're using. We're using this iconic software. Create a new profile. Quick mode. X-ray passport. I'm using ISO 200. I'm shooting 125th of a second. Aperture five six. And honestly, it's it's one tenth of a of a stop. I don't know if that's one tenth of a third. I don't know what they mean. I, it's probably one tenth of a uh, full stop, since these are in full stops. Okay. Anyway, so I set my camera. Uh, F56 200 ISO, and I'm going to shoot this target without getting in the way. You should have the the lights at 245 at 245 angles but I don't feel like doing that right now so I'm not doing it okay see you can, you can look inside there and see pretty little image okay and then we have to do plus and minus three full stops so I'm gonna go down to uh, F2.0. Why? 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 Wait a second. It says, um, that's weird. No, oh, never mind. Let's look at the wrong picture. Okay. So, we shoot this again. That should be super blown out. And then we also do three stops. Smaller. Okay. Now we have to transfer these. Oh, wait, wait. I didn't do my incident reading. You have to do incident reading of the third, uh, third spot from the right. As, as it says in the guide right here so this third one alright so I'm gonna look through this thingy put it right on that dot it's hard seeing where it is okay and pop the flash. Whoa, 2.8. That's a very different value than I expected. Let me try it again. 
third patch from the right. Yep. Okay. That's what it's telling me. It's telling me. It's telling me. Two eight. Two eight three. Two eight two. Okay, so we have these values in here. Now we have to quickly uh, load the pictures and get uh, three JPEGs ready for plus three middle and minus three stops. I'm gonna pause the video. Loaded the pictures and they're on my desktop. You choose a folder there and then it'll show you the pictures here. I need one, two, and three. I have the the correctly exposed one then over and under um, this should be correct please be correct shutter speed 125th okay these are all right align the uh, little check mark thingies wow those are way off one two three and four okay okay and then you have to do that for each of them pretty much in the same spot you should use a tripod and, and everything so it doesn't move but since they have this I don't see the big deal I just handheld them okay next it does the work and now here is my Fuji X100's profile um, it's pretty awesome. This is awesome. So, this is what I've been looking for. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to replace this one. That's, uh, my Fuji X100. That's fine. Fuji X100. And then that's the light source I use to create this. Uh, and it's also a, uh, well, I used a color checker and I only did normal mode. But, okay, so now we plug in our light meter. Take that over here. It's got a little USB thing. You plug it in. And you turn it on. And when you shut it off, you shut it off and then unplug it okay so we have it plugged in now and now we can see the current profiles I'm gonna I'm gonna do my new one in the one spot and then um, my 30d that I did with fluorescent lighting and we'll just throw the camera default there and transfer it okay Now, to choose your profile on your Siconic light meter, transfer complete. Okay, we don't need this anymore. To transfer, I mean to choose your 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 profile, let me just shut it off and unplug it first. Shut it off and unplug it. And now I'll show you. Turn it on oops and what you do is you you hold hold the ISO and hit the midtone button it's kind of a weird thing here and it'll show you it changes camera 3 camera 1 2 3 I want camera 1 that's my Fuji X100 and and that's that's it there's a huge manual on this it is just massive I mean hundreds of pages well a hundred pages I didn't read it but I think I know that I can calibrate my light meter so hope you enjoyed and um, good luck with and have fun unfortunately you can only hold three profiles on this light meter 
but that's good enough for me. I mostly shoot with my Fuji or a Canon. Alright, thanks for watching.